Uh, my name is Kanayo Awani. I'm a, a, the director at the African Export Import Bank, Afrexim Bank. Um, I look after the bank's trade finance business across Africa. Um, one of the important um, aspects of my job is also in the area of um, value chain financing. Um, and we've heard so much today about commercializing agriculture. You know, that's what the heart of our mandate as well. Um, one of the things I'll talk about in the agriculture value chain finance, the AfriCoin, which is called the Africa Cocoa Initiative, is an important initiative for us. Um, born out of the fact that, um, as I mentioned earlier in my presentation, that 80% of the world's cocoa is produced in Africa. West Africa, as a matter of fact, in four countries, Ivory Coast, or Cote d'Ivoire, um, Ghana, Nigeria, and Cameroon. In, in spite of that, um, there's li very limited value addition, um, less than 20%, and also limited consumption, about 2%. So our mandate here, BIT here, is not just to provide um, uh, financing for, you know, we're also looking at um, value addition, encouraging processing, attracting capital investments for value addition, enhancing the productivity of, 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 of uh, at the upstream sector, at the plantation and farm levels. Again, um, the challenges to Af of to agricultural agriculture value chain financing are, you know, um, like I had mentioned in my in my presentation, you know, you can summarize them to be lack of proper infrastructure, access to markets, um, clim climate issues, um, significant significant. Um, post harvest lo losses um, financing is a major one we've heard it said time and time again that um, finance and agriculture is tough as you said in the presentation and having adequate um, and structured finance um, to mitigate the risks associated with with um, agriculture value chain finance especially at the smallholder levels 